hello and a warm welcome to my youtube channel if this is the first time you're clicking to watch kate vlogs please consider subscribing make sure that you also tap the post notification bell so that you will always get a notification every time i post a new video so i have started this series of what you should stock as a beginner if you want to start a cosmetic stock a beauty shop and this is part one of this series i want to teach you step by step on what you should stock as a beginner welcome to today's video the first category of cosmetic business that i'm going to talk about today is the perfume refill business perfumes are imported in these silver canisters and also some come in gold canisters which are the best method to store these perfumes to avoid them losing their fragrances Most of the perfumes that we have in this republic come from France and Dubai and remember that these perfumes are graded. We have grade 1, we have grade 2 and we have grade 3. You have to be very very careful when you are dealing with perfumes because one error can make you lose all your customers. If you want to start this business you only require around 2500 kenyan shillings if you want to start with maybe five fragrances or start with 10 and then that will cost you around 5000 kenyan shillings and then the other things that you'll require is a syringe and maybe refill bottles for the customers and the display bottle for you to display the perfumes on your display area On average, perfume will cost you 10 Kenyan shillings for every ml. That means that every 3 ml that you buy on wholesale will cost you 30 Kenyan shillings. Thereafter, you're going to sell the perfumes at 100 shillings for every 3 ml. That tells you that you're going to be getting a cool 70 shillings in profit for every 3 ml that you sell to your customers. When selling perfumes, it is good to also incorporate these refill bottles that come in different sizes. But the first moving refill bottles are the 3ml and 6ml bottles that will cost you an average of 150 Kenyan shillings and 180 Kenyan shillings respectively for a dozen of the same. So make sure that you also buy these very very beautiful display bottles. They also increase the sales because they also look beautiful when in the display area. Before starting a perfume refill business, always remember that we have thousands of fragrances out here. We have female perfumes, we have men perfumes, and we also have unisex perfumes. Most wholesalers will always say that the minimum order quantity for perfume will always stand at 50 ml. So um, that means that you're going to buy each perfume at 50 times 10, that is 500 Kenyan shillings. I also sell perfumes at the same rate. 10 shillings per ml and the minimum order quantity stands at 50 ml per fragrance and for you to buy from me the minimum order stands at six fragrances for beginners Perfume is a very delicate cosmetic product because one small error can lead to a very big loss. What do I mean by that? When you're measuring perfumes to your customers, you will always use a syringe. You're not supposed to share the syringe in all the perfumes. You're not supposed to use one syringe for all the perfumes that you are measuring because when you put this syringe in pink chiffon and then you put it in pure seduction and then you put it in the, maybe in Victor's, the scents of these particular perfumes will start changing because you are mixing them so what are you supposed to do every time you use the syringe always rinse it out and uh, you can still go ahead and rinse it with soap or make sure that you um, suck some water and pour the excess perfumes that is inside the syringe every time after measuring the perfumes to your clients My take home message to a person that wants to start this business is that perfume is very profitable. For every 50 ml of perfume that you buy at 500 Kenyan shillings, you're going to resell it and get 1600 shillings. That tells you that 1100 Kenyan shillings is what you're going to get for every 50 ml of perfume that you sell. The more perfumes you have, the more profit you get. So if you have maybe uh, 20 perfumes, you're going to get 1100 times 20 in terms of profit. Now, 
this is a business that you can also incorporate in other businesses that you're doing for example if you have a massage parlor you have a nail parlor a boutique you have a salon maybe or maybe you have something like a barber shop you can easily add perfumes in your business to at least increase your revenues so this has been part one of the cosmetic products that move faster i'm going to also upload other videos in the consecutive days and um i hope that you have enjoyed you've learned something let me know what you think about this video on the comment section and if you have not followed me in my other social media platforms i always use the same name kate vlogs on tiktok kate vlogs on facebook and on instagram so please subscribe make sure that you turn on the bell button let it be on so that at least when i'm uploading a video you'll get the notification immediately thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next video bye